Hey Jackals, do you have an issue when the video plays fine, but when you put it in DaVinci Resolve, you don't see and hear any audio? If that's the case, I may have a solution. Now let's get digital. This is the video that I have, you'll be able to hear that the video does have audio. I think that's good enough. But now when I put it inside DaVinci Resolve, you can see that we don't have any audio. And even if I play it, we don't see anything happening here, so we don't have any audio. To fix this issue, I'll show you two ways that may help. The first one is with Handbrake. This program is free. This option is easier because you can just drag and drop the file inside. What you'll want to do is to go to Video and enable constant frame rate. If that's the only change that you want to do, simply change the save as to where you want this to be saved as. So this will be my output file, but I don't need any video, I'll just use the audio. So what I can do is lower the quality and I can also speed it up and click on start encode. This method is easy to do, but it does take a little bit of time, as you can see, about two minutes. So the encode is just about done. There we go, it's finished. This should not work, but as you can see, the video is very choppy, and that's because I lowered the quality to the maximum. But now this should also work when I put the file inside. As you can see, the audio showed up. I can simply delete this video, delete this audio, line these two up, and make my changes. And the second way that you can fix this is to use FFmpg. It's not as user-friendly, but it is faster. Depending on how you install the FFmpg, you may need to use it from inside the bin where the FFmpg.exe is, or you can use it from any place on the PC. In my case, I can use the FFmpg inside any folder, but if you don't have that, you can simply copy the video that you want to fix, go to the bin and copy it where the exe file is. To fix this, you'll want to open the Windows PowerShell, simply hold Shift and right click to see this option. If you just right click, or if you have an item selected and shift right click, you won't see this option. So shift right click with nothing selected and open the Windows PowerShell. As you can see, this is the current directory that we have. If I went inside here, this would have a different path. Since I can work from anywhere, I'll use this one. So once you have this opened, now I'll simply type in a command, ffmpg minus i. Now we have to input the path or the name of the file. I'll simply copy this. And I have to put quotation marks because the name of the file has spaces inside. If you don't have any spaces, you don't need the quotation marks. Then it's map 0a. This means that we'll take the first audio track if you have multiple track you can specify any other number, like 1, 2, 3. I'll do it in this way because I only want the audio. So now for the audio out, I'll just do output.mp3 and let this command do its thing. So we can maybe time it, how fast this is. And it's already done, as you can see this was a lot quicker than the handbrake because it only needed to do the audio. And now when I put this in, you can see that the audio also shows up. This one, the first one works that I've shown, and also this one works. Now for the format I've used mp4 and mp3, but if you want to see which other formats you have available, simply type in ffmpg minus formats and we'll get a long list and if that's not enough for you you can also see what the codecs you can use as you can see a lot of codecs and a lot of formats and that's how you can fix the files if you don't have any audio inside the Vinci Resolve and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more the Vinci Resolve content I'm Simon and until next time Jackals keep it digital Thank <laughs> you.